It's maple bacon pound cake. community we get ready to uh make our sweet treat friday and you know if it ain't sweet then it's not a treat okay all right so our cake today is coming from one of um, the subscribers her name is god's girl and she asked to ask if i would make a um a maple bacon pound cake so I'm going to give you my rendition of it. Uh, I'm sure there's many renditions, but uh, I'm going to just give what I want to do with mine. How about that? Okay, so the first thing um, that I want to do, I got to make the bacon. If we have the maple bacon, then I got to make some maple bacon. Now, you can buy maple bacon in the store, but uh, let's just make us our own. Since everything else is going to be um, from scratch, let's make this... Um, maple bacon from scratch as well okay so let me show you all what we're gonna do here let me pull you down pull you down here of course i've got some um thick cut bacon here that we're going to use and my hands have been washed guys i don't have my gloves on but um i've got some bacon here and i want to show you i've got three tablespoons of um light brown sugar and I've got some maple syrup here that I'm gonna use, as well as black pepper. Now, it's one thing I know about bacon, and let me let me say this: I'm really I, I'm not really a, a big pork eater. It just gives me a real bad headache. Um, so I don't do a lot of pork. I do eat bacon occasionally. And so we're gonna try to just see what we can do here. But one thing I do know, when you put black pepper and bacon, any type of spice, you could put like a, uh, a um, uh, uh, what it is I wanna say, a chili pepper or anything that's spicy, you can mix that with bacon and it take, you know, it takes it up a notch. I like to taste uh, black pepper on my bacon. Dunkin' Donuts have what they call a snacking bacon and it has black pepper on it. So that's what we're going to do with our um, maple bacon. Okay, so three tablespoons of light brown sugar. I'm going to put probably about uh, probably a tablespoon of black pepper. And I'm going to put um, three tablespoons of this maple syrup. Okay, so hold your horses and me get my knife so we can cut our bacon. So what I want to show you, I've got two um, baking sheets here. And this first one is what we're gonna use. We lined it with aluminum foil. This one is what we're gonna put our bacon on after it comes out of the oven, okay? All right, so what we wanna do first, I'm gonna get my Baker's Joy, and I wanna spray, because this can be sticky. So we just gonna spray. Just like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this bacon, Line it across our pan just like this. Okay. Let's line it. I'm going to try to get as many pieces on here as I can. I'm going to go ahead on and turn our oven on 350 because we're going to cook this slow. Not slow and low, but we're going to cook it on 350. Uh, so it doesn't burn. We don't want our bacon to burn. So if we cook it about 350, it'll cook for us nicely. Okay? Alright. And I'm going to cook it probably about 25 to 30 minutes. I'll know, let you know exactly how long it is that I cook it. Okay? Alright, so now what I want to do, I've got my maple syrup here and I'm going to get my tablespoon and show you all right here what we're going to do. Got my maple syrup. Okay. And I'm gonna, that's 
one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Let's just go with three. It is made for bacon, right? <laughs> okay. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to get my whisk here. And we're just going to whisk this brown sugar in this maple syrup. It's going to whisk, whisk that out like this. Y'all see? Okay. Making sure all of that is combined well. Okay, and that pretty good. Okay, like that. Now, I've got my brush here, and we're just gonna brush our bacon. Okay, just gonna brush this brown sugar on our bacon, okay? Just gonna brush it on here. Can y'all see me? One thing I'm, I've learned about cooking, you really have to like, take your time, be precise about certain things. And a lot of times baking and cooking, it can be therapeutic guys, it really can. You know, I'll get in here and I just sing and pray and praise. When I know anything, I'll be done, I'm done cooking. Okay, as I said, it can be very therapeutic. And we're gonna put it in the oven on 350. Like I said, I'm gonna cook it on 350. And I could, and you could too. You could you can cook it higher than um, 350 if you want to. We just don't want it to burn, okay? We don't want it to burn. All right, so we're gonna kinda of cook it on 350. All right, and that's all of our both sides. So now we're just gonna flip it over. Just gonna flip this over while our um, oven is still preheating. It's still preheating. So we're just gonna flip these over just like this and do the same thing on this side, guys, okay? So I know y'all don't wanna see me do this again. All I'm gonna do is flip these over and do the same thing, all right? I'll come back once I do it and we're gonna put it in the oven. So, that's our oven going off. We're getting ready to put our bacon oops, with our maple bacon. We're gonna cook it on 350, guys, for about 30 minutes. So hold your horses. Guys, I brought y'all right back for a reason. I forgot to put my black pepper. I forgot to put my black pepper on here. So we just gonna dust, we just gonna dust it just like this. All right, here we go, 30 minutes. It's ready, we're gonna let it. We're gonna turn this off, I mean, stop the timer, and we're gonna sit this. I may, it's, it's still a little, let me, let me, um, let me cook it about five more minutes. And then we know that the longer it sits, it's gonna harden up. But I'm gonna cook about five more minutes, okay? About five more minutes. Put it back in here, okay? We'll be Okay, guys, that's, that's 35 minutes, so we're gonna take our bacon out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer the bacon onto this wire rack here, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just turn this around like this. Put this one here, and we're gonna just transfer our bacon right over here like this, and let her finish hardening up for us. Okay, just like this. Cut 
okay and then we're gonna put the rest of our bacon on here I've got some more slices we're gonna put them <coughs> Okay, guys, so it's Sweet Treat Friday, and we're going to make us a maple bacon pound cake. So we've already finished up our bacon. I'm going to just show you all. These are some of the crumbles from the bacon that we're going to put place on top at the end. All right, but right now we want to get started with our pound cake. And, of course, I have three sticks of my Land Lakes butter. Got three sticks here. We're going to put these in. They've been sitting at room temperature. And so we're going to put them in and let them. <laughs> that little boy is just so happy. He is so happy, y'all. Okay, our three sticks. That's two. And here is three. And we're going to mix this for about a minute. And of course, I have my um whisk attachment because i want to whisk together my butter and my sugar right now we're just going to whisk this okay all right we're going to put that down and i'm going to strain this this is our three cups of sugar okay Alright guys, that's been our eight minutes. I'm gonna scrape down the sides. I'll scrape it down one more time before we get ready to put our eggs in. I cut it all on my hand. We're going to put our eggs in one at a time. Okay. Vanilla extract, I got cake batter, and I've got maple. Okay, we're gonna put all three of them in. Okay, I'm gonna stop this right here for a minute. I'm gonna stop. This is my half teaspoon of maple. We're gonna put in. A half teaspoon of my cake batter. And we're going to put in a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, okay? And you know what, guys? What I meant to do was actually put in a teaspoon of my, uh, of the maple. I wanted to put in a teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and put in another half teaspoon, okay? All right, and now we're going to mix all of these together, all of our extracts together, and mix those like right that, that's good enough. Now, we've got our three cups of white lily flour and our teaspoon of baking powder, and we're going to put some in, okay? Huh? Let's mix that together. Start off slowly. Let's move all of this out of the way. You need it. The last of our flour, okay? That's it. Okay. Put that down. Start off slow again. Turn it up. 
Sam. Just like this, just to combine it just a little bit. Alright, that's it. All of our flour is in there and that's all we want it. So let's take our whisk attachment off. Down like this. We're gonna just slide it just like that. Now I've got my pan here that's been greased with my baker's joy. And in the bottom of my pan, guys, what I am going to do, I'm gonna take this. Can y'all see look like it's dark? I'm gonna take this bacon here and we're gonna pour this bacon. I'm gonna put it in the bottom of my pan because I want it to turn, when I turn it out, I want it to have that bacon. So we're gonna take this bacon and just cover the bottom of our pan. Okay. Just like that. All right. Can y'all see that? so dark. Wait, guys, I may turn y'all like this right here. Yep, I think I like it better like this. Now y'all can see I got my bacon down in there. All right, and now we're going to take our cake batter here. Scrape it. Just going to make sure that it's all combined. Okay. And we're going to pour it into our pan. Turn it around some. We're going to make sure, sure we got it all. Around here. Bachelor here. Okay. And we're just getting it all off, guys. No batter left behind. Let me make sure that I have it all out of here because I feel. Nah. All right. Okay, guys. Our cake should be ready. We're going to get ready to pull her out of here. Oh, yes. Y'all see it? Woo. All right. That's our... Let's turn that off. Hour and 15 minutes. We cooked her. And let's, uh, I believe she's ready when I checked her. At an hour, she was not ready. So I'm going to continue to cook. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, she's ready. She is ready. So this is our maple bacon pound cake. We're going to let her sit here. Let me get my cooling rack. And we're going to sit her up here on the rack and let her finish cooling. And then we're going to put us a maple glaze on here, okay? All right, so there she is, pretty. 
hold your horses. Okay, guys, our cake has been cooling for 20 minutes, and we're going to get ready to turn it out and let it cool for maybe 20 or 30 more minutes, and then we're going to put our vanilla glaze. I'm going to do a vanilla glaze and top it with the rest of our bacon bits here, okay? I chopped these bacons up, okay? So let us... I hope these bacon... The way I vision this, I hope it turn out like I vision it in Jesus' name. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, and yes, and yes. Can y'all see that? That's that bacon that was on the bottom down there. That's that bacon, and we're going to cover that bacon with vanilla, with a vanilla glaze. I'm going to use, we got confection sugar and milk, and we're going to put this glaze on here along with some maple um, maple extract, and we're going to, we Lord have mercy, be with us, because this is it, him. Lord, can y'all see this cake? Mm, mm, mm. All right, so hold your horses. We're almost there. Okay, guys, so we've got our um, sugar here, and we're going to, I'm probably going to put about two cups. We're just going to see. Probably put about two cups in here to start this off. And we're going to mix it together right along with our milk. Okay. All right. Okay. We're gonna do that like that for now. Put this to the side, just like that, and then I'm gonna take this and put it on top. 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 And we're just going to pour in just a little bit. Start off with a little. All right, so we're just going to mix all of this together. Okay, we're going to put a little bit more in here. Like this. See, it's forming a ball, so it's getting there. And because it's getting there, now I'm going to go ahead on and pour about a half a teaspoon of the maple extract in, okay? Just like that. Just a tad more, guys. Just a tad more. That should be it, I hope. Yep. Let's see it. Okay, guys, our cake has cooled some for us, and I've taken some of the bacon and I've kind of pulled it apart like this for us. And so, what we're going to do is sprinkle this is our maple glaze right here. And we're going to sprinkle it, not sprinkle, but spread it, rather, over our cake, okay? So, we're going to see how this turns out. I got to thinking about uh, the Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, my. The Krispy Kreme donuts and the glaze that's on there. So, this is what I want to do for this. Okay. 
you out here that bring kids, I know you do. Okay, so what I want to do now is take some of this bacon. We're going to put it. Oops, it's falling all down the side. I'll get that later. We don't worry about that. I'll get that at the end. Okay. I'm just going to spread this over like this. Okay, y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just putting it, layering it right here on top of our cake. Okay, and then this I'm gonna just pour it right down in the hole here. Push it right up against our cake. Now, let me get this from back here. And we'll just Place it in there like that. Ooh, I don't like how that that messed up my color pattern. Now, nah. okay. Lord, be offense. Oh, Jesus, be offense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my. Do I want to drizzle a little more on here? Or do I? No, I don't think I am. I think I'm going to leave it just like this. Alright, this is my version, guys, of the bacon maple pound cake, okay? That's her. We're going to cut open and uh, just see some look. This little part right here, I want to cover up if I can. Let's see if I can dress the sun right down in this little spot here. Just gonna see. Just let that fall on down in there like that. Then, what I'm gonna do is, because I have a few left. that I kind of want to fill in them there. Okay. All right, guys. So there she is. That's our maple bacon. Okay. All right. So we're going to cut her. Hold your horses. There she is again. Maple bacon pound cake. All right. We're going to cut this here a piece here. Mm. That knife just start right through that cake. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see it right on through it. Top. All right, Mr. Eric, let us know. Let us know. All right, and then this is the other slice. Mm -mm. Okay, there you go, sir. Mm -hmm. 
to move this out of the way. Hmm? Y'all see that bacon in there? Alright. Well, you know I wanted to see the bacon in there. I know, baby. Mm -hmm. Huh? Nothing. What, you don't want them to see the bacon? They have Wait, to see the have... bacon. Okay. Alright. Precious Lord, thank you for the food we're about to receive. Let it be nourishment for our body. We ask that you sanctify, purify, and make it holy. God, we thank you for all things. We thank you for our YouTube channel. God, thank we thank you, you for my wife, God, who prepared this meal. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. And here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Bacon and eggs and grit cheesecake. Pound cake. What is it? Bacon and eggs and grits and cheese, whatever you just said. Okay. It's all of that in there. Tell me what you think about it. Mm. Can you taste, taste the maple? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a waffle. That part. It sure does. Mm. It tastes very good. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 This is really good. Mm. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Mm. Oh yes. That bacon right there. Mm. Mm -mm. Please, you want to taste it? You want to taste the piece? Sure. Mm. Put your knife. I mean, put your fork. So. If you like this kind of content, we ask that you subscribe, share, like our video. Um, did you tell them about your um the email? No, I didn't. Mm. Oops, suffered forgot. Too busy trying to make sure that they get this sweet treat Friday. Well, we want y'all to know that. With all the cake requests coming in, we have made Teresa uh, uh, a new email that you can send all your cakes to there. And join us this uh, on our live this month, and we're going to talk to you and tell you about how we're going to choose the cakes. Oh, we don't. And, um, so, we're here for a treat. So, when will they find out about the new um, email address? At the it's going to be, it's no, it, the email is going to be on a, in the description of, the, of every video from now on. Okay. Um, and you can also go to the community page, and um, I left a post there that you can also get the email address. But um, as always, till the next time, let, let the, the journey, journey continue. continue. Bye. Bye.